everybody, it's DeJorn here, uh, making a video. I am seven weeks post-op. It's 50 days, about a month and a half. Um, so I wanted to show my incisions. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the little flap of skin that was right here. Uh, it's starting to slowly come, uh, you know, like normal skin. Um, I'm actually getting almost full color back in my right nipple already. Um, I am fresh out the shower, so they're a little bit more red than what they normally are, but I do usually have a, a pinkish red color to them, and that's just because, I mean, even with my regular scars and things like that, um, they're that color. I did um, email Mandali because I was afraid of how this part of my incision looked compared to uh, closer inward. Um, how this is thinner, I was worried that I was stretching, um, especially for the fact that um, I was having problems here on my left side, and then I had, like, this drain hole wherever it just went uh, right here. Um, started to feel like it was attached um, to, like, a muscle in there, so I was kind of worried, but he told me it's nothing to worry about. Um, he actually told me that I needed to start reaching above my head. Um, I emailed him about five at five weeks post op. Um, it was like right after I made the other video about my four weeks uh, that you can check out on my channel. But um, when I did that, he just said, you know, basically I was healing faster than the average guy. So he wanted me to stop using the Neosporin, only use Vaseline, start reaching above my head, which I can totally do now on either side I can reach up I can reach out um I do still feel a little bit of a pull from my left side when I reach out um you know and like this arm rotations are still like see how you can see it um it's still pretty tight compared to this side see I can do a full uh you know arm rotation there I I may I may not have a full rotation back who knows um it just all depends on how it he how i heal it's still very early um so i just wanted to show you what i basically do i'm fresh out the shower so um i haven't applied anything on my incisions um but what i usually put on my body is uh johnson and johnson uh cocoa and shea butter um i use this i mean it's mild it um you know it's for you know proof for babies so I figured that's cool. I really didn't want anything with vitamin E in it. And a lot of shea butter comes with vitamin E. Um, at this point, especially the way my incisions are looking, I don't want to use that. Um, so I've really just been, I've been sticking with this and this is fine. I don't want my incisions to darken. Um, I have my regular Vaseline here and I have my Scar Away silicone strips. These are the extra long ones that actually fit um, the length of my incision. So um, I know a lot of people try to use the smaller ones and they like piece them around. The extra long actually fit. And this is one piece. I just cut it down the middle so that it I could use it for both incisions, which means I actually get more out of my purchase because we know that um, those materials are a little expensive. Um, so first what I do is, um, get lotion um you know and i just put it on i'm just again i'm just gonna do one side of how i treat um so that you can get an idea so i do that first you know and, and i do my whole body while i'm at it so i use this on my whole body um i let this kind of dry a little bit um so it's not as like oily but again i'm doing this for the purpose of the video um, then I get my Vaseline, um, I put it on my nipples, got some more, uh, you know, I put it on my incision and I do the whole length of the incision, but I'm going to, like I said, I'm just for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do it kind of fast. Um, but I usually do this when I have time and I will massage along my whole, uh, scar in a circular motion and I get, you know, more of Vaseline as I need it. But I do this in a circular motion. 
um, and then I also do slightly above it. I'm careful when I get to my nipple here. And then again, and then I do the bottom of the incision. All right, I even will do this area. This end is a little tender. Um, I'm pretty sure I had liposuction here too because it's one of my most tender areas as well as um, about right here. I also noticed, um, I was a little worried because you see I have a brown spot here and I had a brown spot here. And I was actually worried that, um, you know, it's because kind of thicker skin there too. And I was like, what's going on here? You know, I was a little worried. I actually discovered those were my original nipples. Um, and, you know, so he couldn't take away that whole piece because then it would have been, um, you know, like weird. <laughs> um, so a little bit of, of it is left over from my nipples, you know, that were, were bigger than this. So if you're more of a, a big chested person and you have bigger nipples that may be something um that may possibly happen to you because if they try to take away that whole area it's gonna make um you know the incision flap like uneven um so I figured out that's what that was and I mean I don't have a problem with it at all it just at first I didn't know what was going on I was like uh so yeah um that's what I do um that's kind of like my quick way um, at night when I usually have more time, I might do, you know, I massage my whole pec area again, being, uh, careful around the nipple because it's sensitive. Um, I will massage here because there's liposuction that takes place here as well. And pretty much like into the armpit, I will massage this whole area just like this in a circular motion. Um, you know, again, both sides, um, a lot of people, uh, have kind of like those little massage, like they have like the little knots on them and they massage and things like that. You could use that as well. Um, now I'm going to show you what I would do if I was actually going to put on the strips. I don't do this process that I just showed you on my left side. If I'm going to put on the silicone strips. Um, so this side has nothing on it. I'm fresh out the shower. I don't put anything on the incision. I simply take off the silicone strip and I will place it on the incision. And as you can see, I now have the scar away silicone strip on my incision. Um, you see how that one piece basically, you know, fills the whole incision. That's what I like about that extra long. Um, it comes with this nice little piece of plastic that you can um, put it back on when you're done or when you're in the shower and things. You don't want to put these on if you're going to be showering or um, doing a lot of activity where you might sweat. This isn't the same as the tape that um, your surgeon puts on and they tell you to leave it on, shower with it on, just kind of let it fall off. This isn't the same. You want to take this off if you're going to be like swimming or anything like that. Um, so it's on there, right? I got my Vaseline. Again, I'm keeping my nipples moist. Put it on, boom. Sometimes I'll put on a t-shirt or you know whatever I'm gonna wear. Um, if I'm be kind of moving around a little bit more, um, I might put on or a rough material shirt. I might put on a non-stick gauze um, over the top of my nipple. It all really just depends on uh, what I'm doing, but that's basically what I do so far as being. Um, seven weeks post-op. So here you can see the difference of um, no strip on and then with the silicone strip on. So, and again, I had Mandali in Ohio as my surgeon. I had double incision with nipple grafts. Um, and July 23rd, 2015 is when I had my procedure done.